Welcome to so Superb Story Session, a time where we listen wonderful stories and we draw wonderful values, life skills, life lessons from these wonderful, beautiful stories. Let's begin. Today's story is a very short one, a beautiful one. Yeah. In a, in a small village, there is this pipe which carries the water from the river, river to a small reservoir in the middle of the village where all the water is stored. The water is used by the villagers for different, different purposes, for cleaning, washing, drinking, bathing, and so on. So the water comes from the river through a pipe. Now, what happens is over the period of time, the pipe becomes old and it cracks. It has small holes, perforations. The water just leaks out at one or two places and the villagers will be thinking, okay, we are losing some water from the time it comes from there till the main place. The village gardener says, give me some time, I'll do something about it. I can do something about it. We need not replace this pipe. We can use the same pipe. What did the village gardener do? The pipe was traveling. The pipe uh, travels, takes bring the water from the river to a small reservoir in the middle of the village. And there's a crack somewhere on the way. What did the uh, gardener do? Coach. Um, yes, dear. Yeah, the gardener might have like uh, like uh, applied the uh, uh, like tape to it. Very yeah. nice. Wonderful. Maybe he was changing that uh, you know, pipe. So that is the one thing, the suction of it. And maybe as we don't you know, you can put a tape. Or uh, we thought after he being a gardener, the water is there. He may be creates some gardener. Yeah. So he's a gardener instead of mending the pipe. By putting the tape or changing the tip pipe. That's what everybody wanted to do all that. But the gardener came up with a very innovative idea. He's a gardener. So what did he do? He planted some seeds. And what do you think happened over a period of time? A beautiful garden came around the place where there was leakage. Now it was beautiful. It was nice. The whole place looked really, really good. Earlier it was a sore leakage. And people thought it was a waste. Now it is a flourishing garden, a place where things are coming to life. Beautiful, a nice, beautiful, small garden appeared within some few weeks. So what did we learn from it? Coach, uh, we should activate our creative thinking. Very nice. Getting back to nature. Giving back to nature. Um, help everyone. Help everyone. Use the resources. Think out of the box. Ajit says use resources in the right way. Think outside. Think outside the box. Uh, she can't hear you, dear. Loudly. Think outside the box. Think out of the box. Uh, you're using a laptop or what? Sound, we can't hardly hear it, my dear. Can you hear me now? Yeah, but still very less. Oh. No issues. It's not about it's about resourcefulness. It's not about the resources, it's about resourcefulness. How well you use the resources available to you. Resourcefulness is a mindset. Coach? Yes? Coach, yeah, your uh, creative skills should be eco-friendly towards the nature in order to make surroundings more beautiful. Sorry? Uh, I'm saying that you, uh, your creative skills or your creative thinking should be eco-friendly towards nature to make it more beautiful. Very nice.
Use your creative, but you head the ecosystem very nice. Any other learnings? Or to be friendly to everyone. Be friendly, very nice, Salesh. Anything else? Think smart, G. Sorry? Think smart. Think smart. The gardener thought in a very smart way that how we can use the still use the pipe. For uh, happiness. Sorry? Happiness. Happiness. Nice. Then how to use uh, the setbacks. As an advantage, that is very important and comes to think. Wonderful. Lovely. And, yes, uh, and being a uh, uh, smart thing. Smart thing. Wonderful. So, Yashmit yes, added a one more, one more uh, wonderful point and use setbacks, how you can use setbacks in a different way, in a positive way. So, this is again a simple thought about growth mindset and fixed mindset. Isn't it? A person who is ready to grow or a person who is ready to just blame, complain and keep telling there is wrong. See, the overall pipe is good. There is an issue. You need to fix the issue. I understand that. See, there is an issue. We need to fix it up. So the right person is who? The gardener. The gardener came up with that. You need to have gardener realize your water is getting wasted. But yeah, I can put they so planted some seeds. Oh, so it's all about what is your growth mindset and your fixed mindset. Fixed mindset looks for blames, complaints, and excuses. It always looks for things which have gone wrong. But whereas growth mindset is a mindset and an opportunity to see where mindset helps you. See how you can find some good, good things from the difficult times also. From the setbacks, how you can come back. Isn't it? Yeah. Wonderful. Is that ready? Everybody in Vajrasan? Om Namah Shivaya. Nice tree sitting in Vajrasan. Anil. Uh, Sanjay, yeah. Over to Yukta now. Everybody close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Start with our short meditation. Coffee is coming. 
Let's start with the alternate nasal breathing. Let's start with our baby breathing. Six counts. Hum. 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 Now, let's start with our energizer. 20 counts, low speed, low energy, low intensity, till high speed, high energy, high intensity. Let's start. Let's start with our gratitude. Cross your hands. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for being such an amazing person. Always so kind. Always so caring. Always focus on your goals. Thank yourself for being considered for being kind. Thank yourself for always having a golden mindset. For always having a solution mindset. For always having winning beliefs. Thank yourself for always thinking out of the box. Thank yourself for always thinking smart. Thank yourself for always having a solution mindset, always for finding a solution to every challenge. Thank the two police of support your mom and your dad for always being there for you. They've given you everything you need, whether it's food to eat, a shelter to live in, or clothes to wear. They've given you love and care throughout your life. Thank you gurus, your teachers, your coaches, for always being there for you, for always being tough on you. Thank them for, for always for always being tough, for always for always pushing you to your limits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank the Mother Nature for always for always providing food, water and oxygen. 
oxygen and food from the trees and plants, and water from the rivers and streams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, thank the God, the Almighty, for giving a, a, pop, a soul to the purpose, a soul to the why, a soul to the mission and vision. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank the God for, for always giving awakening and abundance, whether it's life, health, wealth, education, anything. Now visualize, visualize a bright white light coming right towards you. This bright white light enters through your head, goes down your face, your neck, your chest, your hands, your fingers, your fingertips. It goes down your stomach, your thighs, your knees, your calves, and your toes. Head to toe, toe to head, fully blessed with the bright white. Visualize the bright. Uh, now we're in the right state of mind to, uh, to visualize our goals, our purpose, our mission and vision. Visualize your long term goals, your short term goals, your mid term goals, your goals for today, your goals for tomorrow. Let go of your hands, hands in your heart, and repeat after me. I'm amazing. I'm powerful. I'm energetic. I'm enthusiastic. I have a golden mindset. I always have winning beliefs. I always have a winning mindset. I solve every challenge that comes to me with 100%. I'm a, I'm a smart thinker. I'm a smart worker. I'm intelligent. I'm kind. I'm caring. I'm honest. I'm lovable. I'm capable. I'm valuable. And I'm superb human. Brain drop claps. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. First one. Second one. First one. Open your eyes and see this world's right in case. See, you did really wonderfully well. Fabulous, mm -hmm. Sri. Thank you, Sri. A big round of applause. Every day growing, every day pushing yourself. Love you, Sri. Amazing. Fabulous. Thank you, Yukta, once again. Doing really well. Everybody live powerfully, live purposely. You are all super humans. Have a great day. Bye bye.
Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sachin and I am a life coach. I use games, activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel and please do comment. It'll help us, it'll inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also do visit our website. Thank you so much.